Hello everyone, this is Michelle Patterson with Angel Souls and this is your weekly Angel Oracle card reading for the week beginning December 29th, 2014. Hi guys, I'm going to be using the Angel Feather Oracle by Michelle Newton to begin with and then we will move on to the Secret Language of Color Cards by Inna Seagal. So, hopefully you all had a wonderful holiday if you celebrate Christmas, which was last week, uh, or whatever you celebrate, hopefully it was fantastic. Alright, let's see here. I'm getting a very conceptualized feeling coming through and I don't know how to interpret it. So let's see. Let's see if the cards help us out a little bit here. <laughs> okay. First card up. Y'all ready for this? Okay. Lime green angel feather. Money is about to manifest. The angels ask that you, excuse me, no wait. <laughs> the angels ask that you feel the marvelous feeling of anticipation as you are about to receive an abundance of money. Now this could have come in the way of gifts, I guess, but this feels more like a payoff for something you've already done. And this, yeah, they're saying it's a payoff for you guys finally realizing that you deserve it and that you deserve all the gifts of the universe. And you are doing the work to clear away blocks, to just get into a nicer energy where you're not uh, constantly looking at the negative of everything, but going, you know what? Good things can happen. Miracles can happen. Beautiful things can flow into our lives. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm trying to see if I can get this so the card isn't reflecting. Hopefully you can see it there. So good news about money, if that's what you've been working towards, all right, you're gonna get what you need. Yes, all right. And this is how you get it. We have blue angel feather, and it says accept life as it is. Yes, don't control everything. <laughs> All right, the angels are here to advise that you feel that you will feel a calming inner peace and peace of mind when you stop trying to control everything in your life. This also is about controlling outcomes or thinking that money has to come by winning the lottery because that's the only way that you can think that it's gonna happen. No, 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 let that go. Accept where you are, know that there's great wisdom in where you are. And once you embrace that and you're giving some gratitude to the universe for having you here right where you are no matter how bad things are going when you accept life as it is and you see past that third dimensional ego consciousness and you see the higher wisdom behind things you get into you, you kind of connect all your various bodies you're in the flow of the universe and that's when beautiful abundance and prosperity can come in for you if you control you're fighting against whatever is supposed to be happening for you right now you're gonna get tired, you're not gonna be very happy. You see what I'm going for here? And then your energy gets all, yeah, and then you don't get the stuff that you want. <laughs> all right, the next card is Fuchsia Angel Feather, new lifestyle or home. Hmm, this is nice. The angels would like to inform you that it is time to commence preparations for a change in lifestyle or resonance. Now for some of you, this might literally mean you're, you're looking for a new place to live, a new city to move to, or you're just going to, maybe because you got all this money coming in, now you suddenly upgrade how you live and, and where you live or whatever. But this is definitely a fresh start on life. And, okay, they're saying moon, heart. What does that mean? That little noise is my heater, by the way. <laughs> moon and heart. Okay, so like a very Cancerian. So all of you sort of adapt some Cancerian aspects <laughs> in making your home feel brand new if you're not planning to move. Now, when a card like this comes up, it doesn't mean that you're gonna like hop up and go find a new home and you're gonna move that week. No, it just means that you start thinking about where you wanna be, how you wanna live, and maybe you start doing the research or whatever, because the card does say get yourself prepped for this. Okay, and the final card we have, Cream Angel Feather, Embrace the Change, okay, Embrace Change. The angels applaud your willingness to embrace change with acceptance and maturity. What this feels like is that you start, again, this is tagging on to last week, you start letting go of all the stuff that no longer serves you, you start opening up to brand new things coming into your existence, and you're flowing with the change. That's great. That's great. You're accepting life as it is and taking things as they come. And everything that you need is going to be there, whether you think so or not. And if you're sitting there, if you're in a state of doubt, well, you're one of the people that won't experience this, right? Because it's the very act of doubting that's igniting your ego consciousness. 
and that is not what you're here for. <laughs> well, you're equipped with that to learn your lessons, but you can't let that run your whole life, and that can't you can't let that get you down into negativity. Okay, so open yourself up to these gifts that are coming in, and accept them with gratitude. Be appreciative for all that you have. Okay, let's get to the color cards. Okay, and the card we have is. Lavender, ooh, very nice. Connect to body, mind, and soul. The number is 44, yeah, very angel-esque kind of number. And lavender, like as, as far as essential oils go, is very calming and soothing. So instead of trying to hurry up and make things happen before January 1st, if that's what you're doing, <laughs> relax, relax. Again, be in a state of gratitude. You've done wonderful work over this past year. Nothing has come easily right? It has been, um, yeah, it's just been this huge thing of one lesson after another and how much can you take and, you know, are you going to lay down and, and complain and whine and stop working or are you just going to go with it? And I feel like a lot of you have just gone with it and endured whatever was coming your way and they're saying just take a breath now. Just lay back, yeah, connect body, mind, and soul, and get reconnected, guys, and get geared up for 2015. All right, so there it is. Have a beautiful week, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.